Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Mack, one of the residents here at the University of Calgary, here to explain to you cataract D weak zonules and capsules, irrigation and aspiration level 5. This is a very, very challenging level, which may need you to take a bit of time to figure out the OR settings that are correct. So here, the um, top right corner of your screen, that, that's where the zonules and the capsule are very weak. So if you just try to proceed in the regular fashion in terms of irrigation aspiration, just like you did in cataract C, you're actually going to rip the zonules and then cause zonular loss. And no matter how many tries you times you try to do that on regular IA settings, you're actually still going to fail. So what you have to do is you actually have to look at the instructions very carefully. And you have to set the flow settings to about 10, and then the vacuum settings at around um, 300, and then the, uh, the bottle height to about 70-ish or so, maybe even 65. The reason is, is that a high flow weight rate and then also a high infusion pressure will cause the um, zonules to actually um, break and it will make it very difficult for you to continue on with your cortex removal. So here, this is the technique that I'm using. So I have a very low flow rate at this particular time and I'm pulling on a very circumferential level, um, way, almost like if I'm doing a capsulorexis, but then I'm only using aspiration. So I'm not actually able to um, suck in, shall we say, the rest of the cortex material. I'm only using it almost like a uh, forceps to grab and slowly pull the rest of the capsule off. And that's the trick of this particular level, is to only use um, aspiration but having a very low irrigation setting so that you don't damage the zonules. So once I get it all into the center then I, here I'm just holding the uh, IA tip with my uh, left hand and I have to change the settings myself. So now I've increased the flow rate back to about 20 and then I'm able to consume the rest of the cortex. And there we go. That's how you score 100 on this very challenging level. I hope this really helps you um, do well in this particular level. Please like and subscribe for more.